بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم علی اللہ مدد فرما واحد القحار علی اللہ مدد فرما الحی القیوم علی اللہ مدد فرما حزبن اللہ و نیم الوکیل و نیم المولا و نیم النسیر حزبن اللہ و نیم الوکیل و نیم المولا و نیم النسیر حزبن اللہ و نیم الوکیل و نیم المولا و نیم النسیر حزبن اللہ و نیم الوکیل و نیم المولا و نیم النسیر حزبن اللہ و نیم الوکیل و نیم المولا و نیم النسیر حزبن اللہ و نیم الوکیل و نیم المولا و نیم النسیر حزبن اللہ و نیم الوکیل و نیم المولا و نیم النسیر اے اللہ مدد فرما اے اللہ مدد فرما توفیق آئی ہمت و یاری 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 شکر اللہ و الحمدللہ شکر اللہ و الحمدللہ Welcome to all friends online. We are back to our study of the book The Holy Quran and the Light of Imamat. And on the printed book, the page number we are on is 9th. Naveen Sahiba? Jasmine Sahiba will read the English and Nachi's will read the Urdu. Jasmine, is that where you can start? English? Can you hear me now? Sorry about that. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, the Holy Quran and the Light of Imamid. The glorious Quran and the pure progeny of the Holy Prophet, i.e., the chain of true Imams in their ever-reaching and ever-embracing miracles of knowledge and recognition are two such interwoven means of the universal guidance of God that, if reflected upon logically and justly, it is inconceivable to separate their position of knowledge. It is because of this that the Quran is full of the different subjects of the light of imamat and there is always the speaking soul of knowledge and wisdom of the quran in the light of imamat thus by presenting some quranic and rational proofs we want to demonstrate that without having the help of the light of imamat it is not only difficult but impossible to see the tawili realities and recognitions of the holy quran Light and the Clear Book. One of Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Quran or Nure Imamat. Quran e Majid or Hazrat Muhammad Sallam ki Ale Pak, Yani Silsilae Aemae Barhak Alehumas Salam, Apne Hamaras Vahamagir Ilmi Kamalat or Irfani Majizat me, Khudaki Hidayate Kuliake, do essay apas me milehue zariehe. کہ جن کے متعلق اگر اکل و دانش اور حق و انصاف سے سوچ لیا جائے تو ہرگز ان دونوں کی علمی حیثیت کا جدہ جدہ تصور نہیں کیا جا سکے گا اس لیے کہ قرآن نور امامت کے مختلف موضوعات سے بھرا ہوا ہے اور نور امامت میں قرآن کے علم و حکمت کی روح ناتکہ ہمیشہ کے لیے موجود ہے بس ہم یہاں اسی حقیقت کی چند قرآنی اور اکلی دلیلیں پیش کرتے ہوئے اس عمر واقعی کی وضاحت کرتے ہیں کہ نور امامت کا سہارا لیے بغیر قرآن پاک کے تعویلی حقائق و معارف کا دیکھ پانا مشکل ہی نہیں بلکہ قطعی ناممکن ہے
So this is the new topic uh, after introduction, the Holy Quran and the light of Imam. Actually, that is the title of the book too, the Holy Quran and the light of Imam. So it says the glorious Quran and the pure progeny of the Holy Prophet. Quran itself and the Silsilai Imamat, chain of the true Imams, in their ever reaching and ever embracing miracles of knowledge and recognition, are two such interwoven means of universal guidance of God that, it re that if reflected upon logically and justly, it is inconceivable to separate their position of knowledge. Sometimes when we look at Quran, we see it separate from Imam. You know, there's a hadith of Prophet Muhammad. Prophet says that Ali is with Quran and Quran is with Ali. They're always together and one. We might see the physical book, but when we actually understand the Quran in its true essence, the Nuraniyat of the Quran is actually within our Imams. Quran is not separate from our Imam. So these two, Quran and the Imam, are given to us for what? To recognize the miracles of knowledge and recognition to realize the majizat of ilm and shanakht. We all as a smiley jamaat wants to, you know, we would hear this dua, Ya Mawla, hakiki shanakht baksh. What is that hakiki shanakht? Hakiki shanakht is to recognize the imam. Now, does that mean recognizing imam when we see imam in, you know, darbar or in any video, we say, oh, this is Hazri Ma. Is that what we are talking about when we say recognition? That is not recognition. That is identification. Recognition means that we know Imam in Batin too. When we say that our tarika is Hakikati tarika, Hakikat is actually hidden. In order to reach to Hakikat, the path starts with knowledge. Ilmul Yaqeen, certainty of knowledge will take us to Ainul Yaqeen, the certitude of our eyes. It is only through the knowledge that the eyes of our batin will open up. And then we will have the Hakiki Shanakht of our Imam. So when it says the Holy Quran and the pure progeny, Pak Silsla of Imam, which is actually from our Prophet Muhammad. Our Prophet was the last Prophet. He was the Natik and he made Mawla Ali as his Janashin. Prophet actually brought this miracle of Quran the Quran which we see in the book is the Tanzi. But the Tawil was revealed in the heart of Mawla Ali. That is why Imam and Quran are never separate. We cannot even conceive to separate their position of knowledge. It is because of this that the Quran is full of different subjects of the light of Imamat. And there is always the speaking soul of knowledge and wisdom of the Quran in the light of Imam. Can we imagine that when we look at this book, that book itself has a soul. That book itself has a soul. When we look at this book, it has so many subjects revolving around the light of Imamat. And then that light is not limited to the light it speaks to. And then there's a wisdom of the Quran, which is with the light of Imamat.
सो ईमान का नूर और हिकमत जो कुरान के अंदर है वो इमाम ही के साथ ही है सो इन दिस बुक वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी सम ऑफ द कुरानिक वर्सेस व्हिच विल हेल्प अस बाय गेटिंग रैशनल प्रूफ्स अकल के साथ सबूत for us to understand that how without having the help of the noor of imamat it is impossible it is impossible to see the tawili realities and recognition of the holy quran if we truly want to understand the treasures which are hidden in quran they can only be understood through the noor of imam it is the noor of imam which guides us to understand the quran there are some jamaati members sometimes they ask that why do we need to read quran if the bolta quran is with us you are very right that imam is the bolta quran but remember always the door is always in zahir quran itself is the book which is in zahir when we enter the door of the quran through the mercy of imam whatever secrets and the khazain the treasures which are hidden in the quran we will get them remember imam sultan muhammad shah farman maula says that tumhare pair ke niche khazana hai tum pair idhar ke udhar karte nahi ho ke khazana tumhare haath aa jaye imam says that there is a treasure just under your feet but you don't move your feet here and there why would imam say like that what does that mean that you don't move your feet meaning having this willingness to learn when we have this willingness to learn when we learn the treasure will come in our hands those who will come out of their comfort zone and take this challenge of learning the quran not tanzi nobody is asking us to learn the arabic nobody is asking us to become hafiz e quran memorize the quran as we normally see in other uh, sects of islam no that is not what we do we are seekers of haqeeqat we are seekers of batin so we study selective verses of quran to begin our journey to understand the tawi Tawil is given to us by the Imam. Tawil is given to us by the Imam. Those who do not believe in Imam and they enter in Quran, they will not understand the Quran. They will not understand the Quran because Quran is actually locked for them. You know, Quran says that uh, Allah has all the keys. and mola ali is saying is that i am the one who is the holder of all the keys so answer is right in front of us those who don't believe in mola they can never get to the treasures all the keys of the treasures are with mola ali when we as a smileys when we come out of the comfort zone when we take that challenge to learn the quranic tawila to the talimat we will be able to get to the treasures of the quran it is only for us smileys how and why it is the mercy of imam that he gives this knowledge to his mu'minees so anyone who can truly understand the secrets of quran it is only and only smileys do you know there is a beautiful verse in the quran in surah baqara it says that don't enter the quran from the back door no it says don't enter the quran from the back doors now if you were to take the example of a house who will enter from the back door a thief who doesn't have the key who has to come inside hidingly those who are the owner of the house they can come from the front without any problems and mola ali is the one who has the keys so who can legally 
truly enter the Quran from the front door? Smiles. Whoever does not believe in Imam and they study Quran, they are like the ones who are entering the Quran as thieves. Because Quran is with Ali and Ali is with the Quran. So inshallah, when we study these verses, which is which I mentioned that we will study some verses, more rational proofs will come forward for us, for us to realize that how light of Imam, Nur of Imamat is needed to understand the Tawil. Tawil is what? Mugs, essence, batin. All the hakikat, shanakat is in the Tawil. And that is what we will understand when we enter in Quran with, with Mawla's name, with Iman in our heart on Imam. Ji. Light and the clear book. One of the Quranic proofs of the above mentioned fact that it is impossible to see the realities and recognitions of the Tawil of the Quran without the support of the light of Imamat is indeed there has come to you from Allah a light and a manifest book chapter 5 verse 15 in this blessed verse God acknowledges the rank of Imamat as the light of the Tawil of the Holy Quran and draws attention to their mutual link and inseparability and alludes that Without the help of the light of Imamat, it is impossible to see the path of the treasures of the Tawili sciences of the Quran, just as it is impossible to see physical things without material light. Noor or kitab e चुनाचे मस्कुरा वाला हकीकत की कुरानी दलीलों में से एक ये है कज्जाकुम मिनल्लाही नूरुम व किताबु मुबीन सूरह 5 आयत 15 यकीनन तुम्हारे पास खुदा की तरफ से नूर और जाहिर किताब आई है इस आय मुबारका में हक तआला रुतबाए इमामत को कुरान पाक की तावीली रोशनी करार देकर Donu Mukaddas Shizo ki Bahami Vabastagi or Lazumiat ki taraf Tabajo dilatahe or Rams ke torpa ye fermatahe ke nure imamat ke Sahare ke bagay Kurane pak ke Tavili ulum ke Khazano ka rasta Dek pana mohalhe Jistarha madi kisam ki Roshni ke bagay Zahiri Chizo ka mushaheda karna na mumkinhe Vanla Svanla so the way if we were to not have light in our life if we were to not have sun on our planet would we have any growth any life on this planet we depend on sun for everything electricity water light whatever you say all the blessings we have it's due to sun our planet survives it is livable because of the sun Moon does not have its own light. It gets the light from sun. Stars get their light from sun. It is the light of the sun which keeps our planet illumined. Now, when we take that example and we take it into the world of religion, Imam is that sun whose light is needed for us to have spirituality, for us to recognize the higher secrets of Imam. Without his nur, without his guidance, it is impossible. And interestingly, in Quran, chapter 5, Surah Maida, verse 15, it is a part of this verse, the verse is long, but the, this end part it says, that indeed there has come to you from Allah a light, nur, and a manifest book. 
So Allah says very clearly that he didn't send just the nu. He sent two things together. Nu and kitab mubin They both are together. It came to us. They are inseparable. They are inseparable. And Quran through this verse actually is drawing our attention to their mutual link. They are like lazim wa malzum. They cannot be without one another. It is simply lack of knowledge that we think that no, Quran is for others. We have Imam and that is enough for us. That would be truly nadani, lack of knowledge, being an ignorant. Because Quran and the Noor, they both are together and one. Do you know that when Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad, and Prophet Muhammad was saying these verses in Arabic, and it, that was Tanzi, that was the Zahir part of it. But in Batin, the Tawil was revealed to Mawla Ali in his heart. Now you would say how and why. You know, Quran says that whenever Allah's Pagambar came to this world, they have to have a witness, a shahid. We all understand witness, right? For example, if there is a crime in the court, we will have we would have a witness who will see who will say, oh, I saw this so and so person committing this crime. Based on that witness, that criminal would be punished. So witness is the one who sees what happened. Do you know Mola Ali is the witness to Prophet Muhammad? Witness to Prophet Muhammad in what aspect? How? His title is Shahid, the witness. And it is the witness of Quran being revealed to Prophet Muhammad in the form of Tanzil. But in Batin, in Nuraniyat, Mawla Ali was with him witnessing the revelation of Quran in its Tawili form. So the Quran in its Tawili form is with Imam. And that is why Mawla Ali's title is Asas Imam. Now what is Asas Imam? Asas Imam is the foundation Imam who gives the Tawila. So one can easily ask now that if Imam has all the Tawila, why do we have to pick up this book? Imam's farmans are with us. We do not need to pick this book up. Then I would humbly say, it is Imam's farman that we pick up the book. Okay. Again, still, why? Then I would say that why do we have this physical body? Why, do not, why didn't we just come to this world as soul? How easy would it be to be merging with Imam, to fly, to become one with him? But no, we have this physical body. Zahir is the door to Batin. One has to walk the Zahiri journey to get to the Batin. Similarly, we as Ismailis, when we enter into the Quran with the name of the Imam, that Zahiri journey of us taking the Riyazat, doing the Farman Bardari of Imam, all the Batini secrets in Quran will come out and it will be rewarded to us. It will be given to us. Why? Because we are entering in the Quran with his name. Every journey has to start in physical. Physical is the door to Batin. If it were to be easy, we all are seekers of Batin. Forget about everything, Zahir. Let's do Batin. Is it possible? No, it's not. We all have to do Zahiri things to be able to get to its batin. Therefore, it is important for us to recognize the Imam through these Quranic verses 
with its tavila. And tavilas are given to us by the Imam. When the Quran has come as the book, Allah says in Quran that I never would give you a book without its teacher. Who is the teacher of that book? It is Imam. If Imam is the teacher, he's teaching us from the Quran, we do need to know what is the Zahir of the Quran to be able to get close to the Noor of the Imam. And how beautiful it is when we read this verse that indeed there has come to you from Allah a Noor and a manifest book. They both are together. In fact, in one of the other hadiths, Pagambar says that uh, Quran and Ali will be together, Mawla Ali will be together on the, uh, on the day of Qiyamah at Hose Qasr, on the pond of abundance. They will be together. So there is no separation between Imam and the Quran. Very humbly, we as not having true knowledge, we have made them into two pieces. In reality, the book and the noor is one and the same. With the help of the noor of the imam, it will become possible for us to learn the tawili sciences. Can we imagine that there is a science in the Quran too? Which science is that? It is the Ruhani science. Today, because of the physical signs, we are able to talk to each other, sitting in different places, different countries. So we are enjoying the blessings of the physical signs and we have come so close. We can see each other, listen to each other. Imagine if we were to go in the Quran with the name of Imam and we learn the spiritual signs, how easily it will be that we will be flying together to meet the Imam in our bathin. So to summarize this paragraph, the Noor and the book is always together. They are never separated. The way we need light to see these physical things in our physical world, we need the light of Imam to see and understand the Quran. G. A further elaboration of this fact is, one day the Holy Prophet said, O people, indeed, there is among you one who will fight for the tawil of the, for, of the Quran, just as I did for its tanzil. The Holy Prophet was asked who he, ha he was. He replied, he is the one who is mending the shoes. It is a famous narrative that on that occasion, the Holy Prophet's sandals, which were broken, were being mended by Maulana Ali. Thus, according to this hadith, it is Maulana Ali who is the Lord or custodian of Tawil, and this exalted rank is held by all the holy Imams from his progeny. Because the necessity and importance of Tawil was not confined to the time of Maulana Ali, rather it increased in the course of time. Thus, the Tawils imparted by Maulana Ali in comparison to those imparted collectively by later Imams are very few. Therefore, if we do not acknowledge all true Imams to be the light of Maulana Ali, Tawil will remain confined to his time, but this is not correct. What is correct is that in this hadith are included all those true Imams who are from his and the Holy Prophet's progeny, who are called Ulul Amr and the Lords of Tawil. Thus, it became evident that the blessed and holy light which is inseparable from the Quran is the light of prophethood and imamat, which in the attire of Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu shed light upon the sciences of tanzil 
and in the position of the holy Imams on the sciences of Ta'wil. His bayan ki mazid wazahat ye hai ke ek roz Peygamber sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam ne firmaya ay logo tum me se ek shaks hai ke wo taweel quran par jang karega jaisa ke maine tanzeel quran par jang ki hai poocha gaya ke ya rasool allah wo shaks kaun hai firmaya wo shaks jo juti durust kar raha hai riwayat mashhoor hai ke us mauke par an hazrat sallam ki juti ka tasma टूट गया था और जनाब मौलाना अली अलैहिस्सलाम उसको दुरुस्त उसको लेकर दुरुस्त कर रहे थे चुनाचे उस हदीस के बमुजब मौलाना अली अलैहिस्सलाम ही तावीले कुरान के मालिक हैं और हकीकत में उनकी इस इल्मी अजमत व मर्तबत में वो तमाम अइमाए अथहार भी शामिल हैं जो उनकी पाक जुरियत में से है क्योंकि तावील की जरूरत और अहमियत ना सिर्फ مولانا علی علیہ السلام ہی کے زمانے میں تھی بلکہ جو جو زمانہ گزرتا گیا تو تو تعویل کی ضرورت و اہمیت بھی بڑھتی آئی ہے چنانچہ بعد کے ائمہ ائمہ برحق علیہ السلام نے مجموعی حیثیت میں قران پاک کی جتنی تعویلات بیان فرمائی ہیں ان کے مقابلے میں مولانا علی علیہ السلام کی تعویلات بہت کم ہیں بس اگر ہم ان تمام ائمہ برحق علیہ السلام کی ذات اقدس کو علی علیہ السلام کا نور نہ مانے تو تعویل صرف مولانا علی علیہ السلام ہی کے زمانے میں محدود ہو کر رہے گی مگر یہ بات درست نہیں بلکہ درست یہی ہے کہ اس حدیث میں ان تمام ائمہ برحق علیہ السلام کا بھی ذکر موجود ہے جو آل محمد و اولاد علی علیہ السلام سے ہیں جو علی امر اور صاحبان تعویل کہلاتے ہیں پس معلوم ہوا کہ وہ مبارک و مقدس نور جو قرآن سے جدا نہیں نور نبوت و امامت ہی ہے جس نے حضرت محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے لباس میں علوم تنزیل پر روشنی ڈالی اور ائمہ طاہرین علیہ السلام کی حیثیت میں علوم تعویل پر روشنی ڈالی سبحان اللہ سبحان اللہ سبحان اللہ So the function of Ta'wil, it is a very important function that Mawla Ali, who is the foundation Imam, who has begun this cycle, who was the first Imam, whose Zahurat happened at Gadir e Khum, his task, his role was to do Ta'wil. And you know, this task of Imam, being the one who will do the ta'wil this hadith of prophet muhammad is accepted by all sunnis actually and this hadith is given here you know uh, shortly but if you were to read the complete hadith it says uh, that peygamber had said that oh people indeed there is among you one who will fight for the ta'wil of the quran just as i did for its tanzeel so abu bakr says is that i Prophet Muhammad says, no. Then Umar says, Ya Peygamber, is that I? Peygamber says, no. Then they ask, who is that? Then Peygamber says, the one who is mending the shoes. And Mawla Ali is not even sitting in that group. He's sitting outside mending Prophet Muhammad's shoes. Look at his humility. Look at his devotion for Prophet Muhammad. Peygamber says the one who is mending the shoes. This verse, this hadith is accepted by all Sunnis. Despite of that, they are not willing to accept Imam as Imam of the time, as the Janashin of Prophet Muhammad. It is only the blessed Jamaat of Ismaili Jamaat who accept Imam as the Imam. And when we say Hazri Imam, the Noor of Ali is in Hazri Imam, and all the Imamans in between, they all, we do say the Jama changes, but the Noor is same. So every Imam in his point in time does do the Tawilat, some more, some less. 
but when we come to this time current time this time is such that we do need tawili knowledge because the world has changed so much if we were to not have the tawili knowledge we will be stuck in the past as we see other sects of islam are stuck but look at ismaili jamaat we live very progressively due to the hidayat of imam our jamaat is very educated living very comfortably in this world because we have followed the faramin of imam for the betterment of our physical life how about our spiritual life and that is why we all are gathered here you know if it is imam's function to give us the tawil to those who believe in him tawil is for us ismailis if i were to give you example of a world example even imam's horses when they fight jamaat takes interest because it is imam's horse physical but when we see that pegambar says the tawil is going to be with maula ali have we ever seriously take interest in tawil it is imam's function that is why imam is imam janashin of pegambar what was the purpose the purpose was to guide the jamaat based on tawil so those who accept imam they're accepting all the imams if someone says who oh, i accept maulana hazri imam but i will not accept maulana hussein that acceptance is not acceptable or someone says oh we accept 12 imams but 13 14 imam we don't accept that is not smiley the acceptance of this light which is nurun allah nur which is in the chain of the light of imams we accept all these imam based on the principle of nurun allah nur now it is imam's task to give us the tawil it is imam who is that clear book which we have to read mercifully because we are spiritually not yet that strong we have this books to study the journey starts at the level of knowledge first when we want to progress the first step is ilmul yaqeen when we are younger when our parents teach us tariqa it is blind faith the faith which is easily shakeable but it is blind faith it is needed when we are young then comes the faith which is based on the knowledge so when we read these books which are full of tawilat tawilat which can only be given to us by imam meaning those who are able to give us tawilat they are being helped guided by the imam because it is only imam who has the tawili knowledge when we study these books and understand the tawi we come close to his secrets secrets of light secrets of ruhaniyat and then we are able to get to anul yaqeen meaning our batni senses open up so when someone says that the holy light it is separate from quran i hope that we now know that will be totally nadani the light of imam and the light of quran is one and the same prophet has made maula ali the janashi meaning the tanzil which he brought the tawilat he gave to maula ali an imam's task is to guide the jamaat based on that light that tawilat to help jamaat to do ruhani tarakki so the science of tanzil through that imam is giving us the science of tawil to help us elevate ourselves in spirituality to recognize the imam so new and clear book 
that the Noor and this clear book are both together. In whom? In the Janashin of the Prophet Muhammad. That is Mala Ali, who became the Janashin in Gadir Akum, the first Imam of this current cycle. And through that Silsla, Hazri Imam is the one who is guiding us on this path. Imam in his current Faramin in Diamond Jubilee in Atlanta, Mola says, if I were to ask you the meaning of Kul, who can tell me? And there were thousands of Jamaati members sitting in front of Imam. Only one Jamaati member raised hand. And Imam said, okay, there is one hand I see. So someone knows the meaning. And then Imam says, if you read the Quran, each word should present to you as concept. Each word. When we just read this words, Kajja Kuminallahi Kitab Nurun wa Kitab Mubin, there are probably eight words. Do we understand this each word from this verse and see it as a concept? If we don't, we are not being firm with that. So when we talk of becoming good mominins, those who want to be farman bardar, are we becoming farman bardar based on convenience or based on conviction? What we know is easy, it's comfortable. What we do not know, we have to learn. How many of us are willing to come forward to learn, to do the riyazat, to pick up the books and read? So I encourage all of you, you are my friends who are motivated to walk on this path, on this journey, to learn together and grow. And it will be due to you that Nazis will learn some knowledge. So inshallah ta'ala, we will continue to talk about uh, next chapter, Proof and Manifest Light. It is so beautiful that we have few verses uh, in each Page. So, inshallah, next time, Naveen Sahiba, why don't you uh, assign someone to read the Quranic verses? Those who have tagged their Quran, they can read the Quranic verses in English and Urdu. So, we can talk in detail about the Quranic verses too. All right. Tell me if any friend has any question, we can talk about it. G. I have a question. Is that okay? Yeah, please. Um, so you mentioned earlier in the talk that um, Molana Ali was a witness to Prophet Muhammad during the revelation. What does that mean really? Like what is the deeper significance of that? In Muslim Ummah, Peygamber Muhammad is seen as Natik. Natik is the one, Natik means major prophet. We have 124,000 prophets, right? Yeah. The major prophets are only six in numbers. Those are Hazrat Adam alayhi salam, Hazrat Noh alayhi salam, Hazrat Musa alayhi salam, Hazrat Isa alayhi salam, Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam, and Peygamber Muhammad. Six Natik. Each Natik brings their Sharia, like we do know Ten Commandments. This book, uh, Quran. When Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad, it is in Arabic and it speaks in very allegorical language. If you were to study Quran, there are two types of verses. One are known as Mohakamat, and other is known as Mutashabihat, meaning one are very clear and other are allegorical. One are literal and other are allegorical. So those who read the Quran, they are able to understand which are clear verses, but allegorical verses, they are not able to understand it. These verses, when they were revealed to Prophet Muhammad, Jibrail was coming and giving the revelation, revelation to Prophet Muhammad, and it was happening physically in the sense that Jibrail was reciting those verses and Peygamber was listening and reciting it and then coming to the uh, Jamaat and telling them, right? 
when Peygamber Muhammad was listening to those verses, at the same time, all the secrets, all the deeper meanings of those verses which were revealed to Prophet Muhammad were also revealed in Tawili sense in the personal world of Mawla Ali in his Baatin. What does that mean now? Let, let us take example, another example, which is very simple, I'm trying to make it very simple. Let's say I am looking at Gulzar. I'm looking at Navin. Let's say Navin is doing something and I'm looking at her as if I'm watching TV and I see Navin. I'm sitting here, which is Dallas, Texas. Gulzar, let's say she's in San Antonio and she's looking at Navin too. We are very far apart but we are witnessing the same thing which is being shown to us by Navin. In other words, what I'm saying that when we listen to this story of Prophet Muhammad, it seems that he was in gar -e hira doing Ibadat and Jibrail came and revelation was done, uh, given to Prophet Muhammad and Mawla Ali was somewhere very far, he was a young kid, but at the same time when the Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad, the tawil of it was given to Mawla Ali in his batin in the form of Nuraniyat. The luminous form of the Quran was revealed to Mawla Ali in his batin. That is what it means. And that is why Mawla Ali is the witness he witnessed in his batin what was revealed to Prophet Muhammad. Witness can only be the one who sees what had happened. In his alam e shaksi in his personal world, he saw everything what was revealed to Prophet Muhammad in its totality. And then Quran says that Allah has selected a guide for every nation, an imam for every nation. Chapter 17, verse 71. So Imam has this miracle that they can do the tawilat according to the time we live in. That is why Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah in his foreword, which he wrote for a book, he says, we as Ismailis, we are people of time, Ibnul Waqt. So Imam teaches us according to the time how we have to live in today's world. And that is why we are so uh, progressive. We have lived, we are living such a beautiful life. We are Muslims too. Those who are Orthodox Muslim, if someone sees the Orthodox Muslim and they see us and we are Muslim too, they, it will not make sense to them. How come we are so educated, we are so liberal, and we are so progressive, we are so open, we are so encompassing of humanity and differences and pluralism? Because that is the guidance of the Imam. Does that help, Shabira? Um, it does. Maybe I'll have another side conversation later, but that, that was helpful. Thank you. Shukraman. You can always share your thoughts, text me. If you have more thoughts and reflections, do share. And then we can incorporate in the next class. If you have questions, don't hesitate to share too. All right? Thank you, friends. Yali Madad. Yali Madad. Yali Madad. Yali Madad. Thank you so much, Yali Madad. Yali Madad Zubaira. Yali Madad Gulzar. Thank you, thank you, Molali Madad. Shukar, shukar, Mola. Nevin Saiba, thank you, Yali Madad. Yali Madad, Yali Madad, thank you. Thank you very much, Yali Madad. Yali Madad, Yali Madad. Nevin Saiba. Yali Madad. Yali Madad, Yali Madad. Thank you, thank you, 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 Yali Madad.